What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are going to be showcasing yet another Kyogre and Weakness Policy Solgaleo team that features Berserk Assault Vest Moltres. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the community. Over 60% of my viewers, yep, you guys heard that right, 60% of my viewers viewers are not subscribers so if that's one of you guys seriously yo scroll down a little bit click that big red subscribe button and join the community to stay up to date on all my content it really does go a long way it really does go a long way but let's get started here starting off in that top left corner with the one and only galarian moltres have not used this pokemon in so long i feel like it was so dominant in the last season but now that they added double restrict it everyone was just like nah we don't feel like using them anymore nobody really uses them anymore so i think he's still very very strong i just think there's a few other pokemon that overpower him but Definitely think we can still Dynamax him and get some work done with him. We got the Berserk ability alongside with the Soul Fest as item. And then we're rocking out with that same old great moveset for his Pokemon. Fiery Wrath, Hurricane, Snarl, and Sucker Punch for first turn priority. Gotta love it. You gotta love it. Right next to him is going to be Incineroar. I'm done talking about Incineroar. He's right there if you guys want to check him out. But he's on the team. Everything's similar. It's the same old Incineroar you guys have been seeing for like a year now. Let's move on. Middle left is going to be Solgaleo. Solgaleo is definitely a very, very, I would, I, I want to say like the best Dynamax uh, restricted one. It is so good at Dynamax form because it's super, super bulky. Then you pair it up with his weakness policy. Once you get that proc, it's just an absolute beast. It's just an absolute beast. Hits like a truck, out bulks a bunch of shots, and has great moves for Dynamax. Like Sun Seal Strike, Earthquake, and Psychic Bang. It's just beautiful. You can change terrain, and you can get either a defense or special defense boost. You got to love it. Last move on this Pokemon is going to be Protect, because you know, Protect just works well on any single Pokemon. Right next to him is going to be our second Restricted Mon, which is going to be Kyogre. Drizzle, Mystic Water, fairly normal uh, item for that Pokemon. And then we got Water Spout, Origin Pulse, Ice Beam Protect, or a fairly normal moveset for that Pokemon. It just works so well, so why would we change it? Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Regilecki. And this Regilecki build is really, really cool. I really do like it. We got the Transistor ability, Focus Ash. Yeah, that's normal. But then we got Thunderbolt, EWF for Speed Control. And then we're rocking out with Eerie Impulse for Special Attack Drop. So a lot of people don't expect the Regilecki to be rocking the Eerie Impulse. So having him on this, or having that move on this Pokemon, can really throw off the opponent and grant us some wins, especially if they're going in with a Special Attacker. We can just drop it minus two and really just get control in the battle from there. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be our Trick Room slash Weakness Policy proccing Pokemon. That is going to be Mimikyu over here. We got Disguise, which is an amazing ability. Let's just soak up one free shot. We got the Mental Herb, so we can't be taunted. So, and then we're rocking Play Rough, Shadow Sneak, Trick Room, and Willow Wisp for Burns. Guys, you want to try this team for yourself? I don't even have to say it. The rental code is chilling right at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's get some wins with this Weakness Policy, Solgaleo, Kyogre, and Galarian Moltres team. Look what we have ourselves here. We're going up against a mirror matchup with Solgaleo and Kyogre. He also has Incineroar just like us. And then he has Shed Ninja, Galarian Zapdos, and Kingdra with that Swift Swim ability to rock out with that Kyogre in the rain. Okay, how should we do this? How should we go after it? That Shed Ninja's throwing me off, dude. I don't like Shed Ninja. Shed Ninja's definitely a scary mod. I really do not want to go up against it, but we're going to have to do it. We are going to have to do it. Uh, how should we play this one? How should we lead it? I'm thinking maybe going into Solgaleo, or I can go in with Regilecki. could be a solid lead. I'm really liking Regilek here. Poses a threat on a lot of different Pokemon. We can uh, roll out from there. I do like that. And we can grant speed control too. We don't want to go into Incineroar because you know he can proc uh, Defiant and just roll from there. That could definitely be scary. So this one King just kind of scaring me. Uh, do we go with the Moltres here? Maybe just Dynamax off the rip? Could be good. Could be really, really good for us. We do have Focus Ash on Regilek, so I do dig that. I do indeed dig that. So I could go with Moltres here. I'm kind of digging Moltres. Moltres, Regilek. Kind of looking good. Kind of looking really good. Let's lead both of them and then roll out with our Kyogre of our own. And I think Solgaleo is going to be good here as well. Two great Pokemon. I'm with it. I wonder who he's going to lead, though. I really do wonder who he's going to lead. I guess we'll find out. I guess we will find out. But let's see. He might actually lead the Swift Swim combo. I can definitely see that coming out here. But we do have Regilecki to kind of pose a threat on that. With that Focus Sash, I can Eerie Impulse. I can just start dropping Electric Moves. We can really just roll. We can really just get going from there, so... We'll see what he does. We shall see what he does. And then we do have the Soul Fest on our, uh, on our Moltres, which a lot of his team is special attacking. A lot of his team is special, so that can really benefit us. Let's see who he goes into. Let's see who his lead is. Shed Ninja might come out here. I'm kind of scared of that. Zapdos comes out here alongside with Incineroar. And yo, he has the shiny Galarian Zapdos that looks like the regular Zapdos. Yeah, I love it. We're going to have special attackers out here, so Intimidate is going to do nothing. Uh, I really wonder what he's going to go into. Um, I could Dynamax. I think I am going to Dynamax. I might hard swap, though. Yeah, I'm definitely going to Dynamax. I'm definitely going to Dynamax right here. Go to a Thunderbolt. Or I can just protect you. 
that I'm thinking of doing. It might fake me out. Because I am going to Dynamax you. And I really just want to go into an airstream and start granting some speed. So, I'm with this all day. Let's roll out. Let's do it. Let's get it to this done. Because I think he's going to fake out the Retalaki, right? So, I'm cool with that. I definitely am cool with that. And I would love for him to just proc my Berserk. But at that point, we can kind of just get rolling out from there. But he was predicting me going into Incineroar. And I, and I said it from the beginning. I was like, I can't go into Incineroar here because he has that Defiant Bird. We're not dealing with that bird. You know, once I think it's that Defiant proc, it Dynamaxes and it hits so hard. It just hits so hard. He's going to hard swap his up bird. And who's he going to go into? Who are you going to go into here? He's going to go into Kingdra. And I'm totally fine with that. Get a speed boost. Get off some big damage onto that thing. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. So now we can hard swap into what's called next turn if he really wants to. Hi, Ogre. Or I think he's going to parting shot out. I think that's definitely his play. Hopefully he's going for a fake out. I would love that turn. I would love that turn. But I do think he's going to parting shot. We'll see. We shall see. We're going to Dynamax your bird. We are going to get rolling. I mean, that speed boost. That lovely little speed boost coming in hot. Protect coming out from the Regilecki. Come on, yo. Fake out my Regilecki. Come on, dude. You got to be doing that. He does, yo. We love it. We love it. We love it. He fakes out the Regilecki. So great protect on our end. And we get off a huge max airstream right up against this King Jordan. Look at that. Damage. Mwah. We love it. Okay, so that's some big damage. That is some big damage. Big old damage. He could hard swap now into a Kyogre. And at this point, I just think we go into an E-Web. I think E-Web is definitely going to be your call. And we could Airstream again if we want to. We could go into a Max Darkness here as well. Max Darkness ain't too shabby. Hmm. What is my player? I kind of want to Max... Uh, no, Airstream is really the play. Airstream is really the play. What do I do here? Do I just Thunderbolt into? Do I just Thunderbolt into that? You know, we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're just gonna E-Web. Don't play this one slow. He might protect Kingdra. He might hard swap into Kyogre. So E-Web is definitely a play. Yeah, there's a hard swap into Kyogre. That's totally fine. I think he's going to try to take out my Regilecki here, which we are Sash, which is just gorgeous. He's gonna set the drizzle. So we're gonna get off an Airstream and an E-Web onto that Pokemon. That's totally fine. Is he gonna Dynamax Kingdra? He does not. So E-Web pops out here. Can this take out the Kingdra? I hope so. That'll be beautiful. Oh, let's go. Let's go. What an awful turn from him. What an awful turn from him. We take that all day. We take it all day. So now we know he has his bird in the back. He's going to have to bring out the bird. Hopefully it's KO's. This has a high chance KO. KO this thing. Oh, so close. So close. So E-Web can poke here. Obviously take that out. We outspeed everything. He's probably going to go into Incineroar here. And uh, go for the fake out again. And this time I'm not going to. Actually, I still have to protect. You have to keep it red. Yeah, if he goes for a fake out, he goes for a fake out. That's cool. I know he goes into the bird. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So E-Web's obviously going to fly here, and we're going to airstream down onto the... Uh, and we're just going to airstream straight onto this. Where do we go for the special defense? No, we got to go for the airstream. Let's take the speed. Over. Let's take the speed. He's. I think he's going to Dynamax Bird and just protect it. I really do think that's going to happen. Yo, what's up with all these withdrawals, man? What is he doing? Like, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. He just keeps withdrawing. Has he made an attack yet? Did he hit any of my Pokemon yet? Here comes a Dynamax. I don't get that swap. I'm trying to think, like, why would he swap that? I think he knows that, like, Kyogre could just get out. All right, that's fair. Actually, I'm kind of starting to get that swap. So, so we want the swap, I think, personally, just to have, like, his last chance to be a Kyogre, like, going into Origin Pulses and kind of just rocking out from there. So he needs to get rid of the, both of these Pokemon because we outspeed him. That's kind of his play. He's going to guard, which I basically knew he was going to do. e was going to fly through here, and now he has Fake Out Control ready to run. Okay, so that's a cool turn. We still have Focus Ash rolling here. E-Web's doing a great amount of damage. We'd love to see it. And I think at this point, we just double down straight into uh, straight into the bird. Right? We have the rain out here, so Hurricane's going to hit 100%. We have Thunderbolt. The bird is really our, the main threat, right? Yeah. The bird's the main threat. The bird is the main threat. So I'm just going to Thunderbolt here. And then I'm just going to rock it to a Hurricane. We're doubling straight down into this Pokemon. He's going to fake out one of my guys, so we'll see. Both of my both of my Pokemon can hit really really hard. It's both stab moves. It's gonna land. It's gonna be awesome. Fake out's gonna poke out onto Reggie slot. That's totally fine. We have a Kyogre in the back of our own. Ultra's gonna fly through here. Big old hurricane. Look at that damage. Give me the ducks. Give me the ducks, baby. Give me the ducks. No ducks. What you mean? No ducks. He's gonna go for an airstream, and my bird's gonna be able to soak it. We love it. So we're still able to outspeed here. He could go into uh. He could go into another max guard, but I just don't see that happening. Right? He's gonna proc my berserk. He is going to proc my Berserk. So, at this point, 
Uh, Moltres, let me see your let me see your stats. You're plus three, aren't you? Or you're plus two? You're plus two. Is he minus anything? Only plus one. So Moltres should outspeed. So Moltres should outspeed. So in this case, I'm just gonna go here, and I'm just gonna go into a hurricane right on here. Wait, that's gotta be my play. Hurricane will take him out now that we're plus one due to the berserk. I love it. I could have e-webbed and made sure we've outspeed, but that works. He cancels the battle. We're sitting at one and zero. What a way to start off today's video. I just realized our first battle was a clean sweep, baby. We did not lose any Pokemon. Our Galarian Moltres alongside Red Slacky stayed in there and swept the battle completely. But we're hopping into our second battle here. We're going up against a very strong Palkia and Sassian team with Whimsicott for support, Umbreon for damage slash support, Amoongus, which is strictly support and spores, and then Indeedee for its final Pokemon. Okay, how should we go into this one? How should Jeans play us? I'm thinking of just going into like, Mimikyu could be solid here because we could always trick him right off the rip. We could always trick him. And then with Solgaleo, we can also proc policy. I don't lean towards that. 120 speed. I'm kind of with that. I'm kind of with that. We do have the uh, the mental herb, so we can't be taunted. So I'm kind of with that all day. So, you know, we're going to go there. I'm going to double down here. And then what are we gonna, else are we going to do? Definitely want to bring that Kyogre. I feel like, actually, do we want to bring Kyogre? Kyogre could be solid. Like, Kyogre is just great all around. Definitely want to bring Moltres. I feel like Moltres can be uh, do some work for us. Then last but not least, these are Incineroar Kyogre I'm leaning towards. What do I want? We got the Mystic Water here. I mean, Palkia kind of can uh, just resist a lot of his shots. But I still think he's the play. I really do think he's still the play. I just like Kyogre. Kyogre's just too good not to bring. He doesn't have a Pokemon like Regile or Regileki or Rillaboom to kind of just like absolutely counter Kyogre. He just has a few Pokemon that resist his shots. So I still think he can be solid and pick us up some big damage. So we're going to lock him in. We're going to look to go back to back for today's video. Come on, baby. I want to win a winning record right now. So I can actually... Guarantee myself a winning record and just roll from there. And then just have fun in battle number three. Let's see. He's going to end up leading the Umbreon and the Amoongus. Okay. Uh, What do I do here? What is my play? What is my play? So he can yawn. He can do a lot here. He can yawn. He can sport. He can rage powder. Uh, what do I want to do? I could play rough. I kind of don't want a Dynamax here. I really don't want a Dynamax. I'm not even going to Dynamax. I'm not even going to Dynamax. We're going to let him do his thing. He's gonna end up protecting the Moongus. That's totally fine. He's probably going for a Yawn, so I can hard swap next turn if I really want to. Like he Fang's gonna get blocked, and what's he gonna do? What is he gonna do? Play rough's popping. I think he's yawning or something, right? Not bad play rough. Get off some nice damage on that thing. He's probably rocking left overs, and he is gonna yawn. So he ends up yawning. That's cool. Uh, I could hard swap here, which I'm probably gonna do. Probably gonna hard swap here. Uh, sh 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 yeah, let's play rough. Play rough again, and let's hard swap into uh, Moltres or Kyogre. I'm leaning more towards Kyogre here. I'm leaning more towards Kyogre. So we're going to hard swap this Solgaleo. He could be going for a foul play. I'm kind of cool with that if he is. I was trying to chip off some damage here. There's another another play rough could do could do wonders for us. So we're forced to swap our Solgaleo due to Yawn. Play rough's going to poke here. He's probably spawn my Mimikyu if I had to guess. Nice big old damage over onto the Umbreon. And what's he going to do? He's going to go for the foul play. Yep. And he's going to go into Mimikyu. Okay. I'm with that. Keep my Kyogre full HP. Now, what are you doing with a Moongus? Are you palm puffing? Please don't tell me you're palm puffing. Okay, that kind of scares me if he's going for it. He's going to go for a Spore. Did he read the swap or is he going into Mimikyu? It is going into Mimikyu. Okay, so Mimikyu slumped. I'm kind of, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. At this point, I can just drop a, a Water Spell. He doesn't... Yeah, he doesn't have like no Storm Drain or anything. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Let's go for a Shadow Sneak here. Try to waste some turns and Water Spell is obviously going to poke here. Even though I think he's going to swap, I just think this is still our play. Could have went to an Ice Beam if we wanted to. But he's just going to put my Kyogre to sleep. Okay, so Kyogre's going to go to sleep here. Kind of hoping he wasted a turn with Rage Powder or something along those lines. But if we get take out this Umbreon, that could be a huge turn. Because Umbreon is just so annoying and so bulky. It's just phenomenal. But I wonder what item it's holding. Because it's not holding leftovers. So I'm really curious about that. So he doesn't swap Umbreon. I'm with that all day. Water Spot's going to poke. We're going to say bye-bye to Umbreon. And Ky Oh, wow, dude. That was that a crit? Was that a crit? Or does that just do... It was a crit. Okay, I was going to say, why did it do so much damage? He's probably put me to sleep, though, which, which we do not like. Spore's coming out here. Oh, who would have guessed it? Who would have guessed it? His Moongus is just using Spore. Spores and Yawn's coming out here for turn one, but we get off some huge damage with that, which I really, really like. Okay. So, he's probably going into Zassian, if I had to guess, right? Or Palkia. It's one or the other. It's going to be Zassian. So, Zassian flies out here. Um, Our disguise is down. He might just Behemoth Blade... His, uh, his boy can't really do too much besides just, uh, 
besides just go into uh what is that even called rage powders so i'm just gonna start origin pulsing just in case he wants to uh hit my kyogre i don't want to go into a water spout and do no damage and he's gonna swap into palkia here right very hard swaps that's cool and palkia's gonna fly through so he's gonna take out my mimikyu if i if i had this he's taking out my mimikyu and then he's gonna dynamax palkia next turn Behemoth blade flies through here i'm cool with that behemoth blade flies through here uh, he, he sends it mimikyu is down so we read that correctly we read that correctly so from here i'm definitely gonna bring out solgaleo and we're gonna get after the battle this way solgaleo is a must he's an absolute must an absolute must solgaleo get on out here we do have you but we can save him for the backhand for sucker punches or stuff like that but yeah solgaleo is gonna have to come out here we're gonna have to dynamax him and i'm thinking we're gonna have to drop a quake i'm thinking quake is gonna be your best bet just to get that special defense boost and deal some damage over onto his ass. I'm with that all day. Dynamax, Max Quake, send it this way. And just go for an origin pulse. Just go for an origin pulse. Because again, he's gonna he's gonna outspeed my Kyogre. And just in case he wants to hit my Kyogre, I don't want to go into a water spout and really just waste a turn there. So Palky's gonna Dynamax. I'm gonna Dynamax. And this is where the battle is getting all juicy. This is what it comes down to right here, right now. Right here, right now. We both lost Pokemon as Amoongus is down on like one HP. And actually he probably has regenerated, right? Yeah, so that's a solid swap. He's probably back up at half health. Which ain't too bad. A lot of my Pokemon can do work up against him. But th this, this is where it's coming down. Restricted Mons versus Restricted Mons. We're both Dynamaxing. We're both full HP. We're ready to go. The only problem is I'm asleep. We're hoping we can wake up here. If I can wake up here, it can really change the tides. It can really pull the tides right in Jeans' favor. But yeah, I think he might proc policy with a with a special defense or a max quake of his own. Which could be beautiful. Look at that HP. 164. God dang. He goes for a Behemoth Blade, and is that going over into my boy? That's still going to do a lot of damage, which is kind of scary. How much damage is that really going to do? Still did a lot. We're able to soak. We're very, very bulky. Very, very bulky here. He goes for the Geyser. So he's just going to throw a Geyser here. We're going to be able to soak that up. It's beautiful. So he doesn't want a proc policy. We're going to be able to soak that up, too. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. How much damage is this Quake doing? Hyger wakes up. Oh, my God. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. We're going to be able to get rid of Zassi. That's gorgeous. That is huge. That is huge. We're able to get rid of Zassian here. We'd love it. Zassian's gone. And we get a special defense boost. That is huge that my boy just woke up there. Like I said, if Kai Ogre can wake up this turn, the tides are really going to be pulled in our favor. And that's exactly what just happened. We get rid of Zassian. Because I wasn't sure if Max Quake was actually going to take out that... Uh, if Max Quake was going to take out the Zassian on its own. So good thing we woke up. We were able to do some big old damage. And we get some nice little chip damage off onto that, uh, that Palkia. Okay, so we're sitting here... Uh, from here, you know, I'm just going to, uh, what do I do? Because Palkia's not going to be able to take me out. Palkia's not going to be able to take me out. I still might go into a Mindstorm. It's going to be better for us. Quake would probably be better for us, but we're just going to do this, and I'm just going to Ice Beam. Just in case. Actually, I'm just going to take out the movies here. I don't want I don't want them spawning up on me. But yeah, we got Ice Beam here. I think Rage Powder's going to come in. Anyway. So he goes for the Flare. That's fine by me. So if he wants to change up the weather, that's cool by me. We're going for an Ice Beam anyway. But Ice Beam is fine. We're hoping that this Ice Beam can just get rid of this thing. Because if it can, we, we're going to be sitting good. Because if not, we're going to sleep. We, we already know that's coming. We already know that's coming. But I think Ice Beam should be able to do enough damage to take it out. This little super effective shot. It's not stab, but still. Should be able to do enough. Should be able to do enough. We come out here with a lovely Ice Beam. Yeah, send it. Get rid of this thing. Get him out of here. Let's go. Big time KO. Great calls for us. We dropped that thing with a lovely little ice beam. So get out my face. Get out my face. We have Moltres chilling here in the back. Kai Ogre's plus one on special defense. We have our Assault Vest chilling here. I don't like where we're sitting. I don't think he's taking out any of my Pokemon in one shot. I'm trying to think what moves he has. He has Geyser, which isn't going to do much damage anymore. It really isn't going to do much damage anymore. And we're just going to Snarl out. Snarl's going to be our play. And we're just going to Ice Beam. Snarl and Ice Beam's our play. Yeah. Geyser's not going to do too much. If he wants to set the rain for us, thank you. Wormwind's not gonna, it's just gonna drop attack. And uh, we're both special attacking here, which is huge. And he go, he's gonna go into Wormwind, so he's not gonna get any benefits from that besides the damage. And Kyogre soaks that up. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That is going to be GG's. That is gonna be GG's. It's over with, because I can just snarl him to death now and just start dropping Ice Beam to go from there. Plus, we're gonna get a, free, a freeze here. I have a feeling, I have an odd feeling we're just gonna freeze here. An odd feeling we're gonna freeze. These are high rank Master Ball tier battles. We're sitting at 1800. 1800. Give me the freeze. Oh, no, we didn't get the freeze. I had a weird feeling. I was just like, yeah, I feel like we're getting a freeze. But yeah, we're sitting 1,800. It's probably going to put us in the top 1,500, which is awesome. Then we can hop into our third final battle and get rocking from there. But I'm just going to snarl from here, and he's probably just going to start canceling that battle. Yeah, I'm just going to snarl him to death. That's my play all day. 
He doesn't cancel battle. Oh, he goes for a spatial run, which is kind of scary. This has a high crit chance. High crit. Do not take me out. Shh. Soaking up, baby. We soak it up. Oh, yeah. Snarl comes out here. That's GG's. That is GG's. Snarl's going to bring this thing down, and Ice Beam's going to pick up the final KO. Mwah. We love it. We love it. So, I totally forgot that thing had spatial run. High crit chance on spatial run. That kind of scared me a little bit, but there it is. Ice Beam pokes through. GG's 2-0. and We grab ourselves a winning record, and now we can hop into a third and final battle and look for a perfect record. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if we're going to grab ourselves a winning record. Hopped into this battle, and this guy right here, or girl, whatever it is, is ranked 160. That is high. That is high. Top 200 player right here. Hopefully your boy Jeans can clutch it up and win this battle. We are sitting at, I think it was 1568. Pretty high. Highest I've been in a while. Highest I've been in a while. We've been rocking out, though. We've been rocking out, though. So hopefully we can actually pick ourselves up a win here up against a top tier player. But uh, who should we go into? He has a Shadow Rider Calyx and Longs have a Kyogre uh, with Whimscott, Cartana. This is just a strong team. And then an Ndidi and Regilecki. Okay. Um, I do think he leads either to Whimscott or Regilecki, so I think I need Speed Control in my favor. I'm really liking that. I kind of want to go Regilecki and Moltres. I really do like that. Just in case he wants to lead the Shadow Rider Calyx, we can Sucker Punch right into that. But, ooh, that's going to be tough if he leads to Ndidi and Shadow Rider Calyx. Ooh. Could definitely be tough, but I'm going to lead both of them. I think I'm just going to bring... So Galio and oh I could lead so oh I'm, I'm thinking of leading so Galio. That's my play. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. I like that. Uh, we're gonna go there. Definitely with Kyogre. And then either Regilecki or Moltres. Who am I gonna lean towards here? I think I'm gonna lean towards Moltres. I don't know why. I just really like Moltres. I really like Moltres. I'm digging that. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it in. It's going to be such a good battle. It's going to be such a good battle, but I feel like this guy's going to sweep me. And you guys know my rules. I do not get swept or I do not go 0-3. We already solidified not going 0-3 because we won our first two battles. But we can't get swept. We cannot get swept. Cannot get swept on recording. Cannot get swept on the YouTube recording. Regilecki and Calyrex do poke out here. Okay, um, I'm cool with that. I could honestly just straight up Shadow Sneak and protect here. I'm kind of with that. Shadow Sneak protect. Shadow Sneak Protect could do me good. It could definitely do me good. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Or is he going to Protect? And I can pop a Trick Room. That's what it is. I think he might Protect. He knows we have Mimikyu. He knows we have Mimikyu. We have to pop the Trick Room. He does not Protect. God dang it. We might, we might lose Mimikyu here. You have, oh no. Mimikyu! I knew we should have shadow sneaked. I knew we should have shadow sneaked. Mims! Need you here, dude. I need you here. He's not so good himself. He's dead. He's dead. Super effective. Dang it, dude. Should have went into my normal play just to shadow sneak it off some damage on that Pokemon. That's rough. Red's like he does show he's orb. Astrobotch comes through here. Can you dodge at Mims somehow? Just like slide out the way. Rest easy, Mims. Awful play by Jeans. I had the play in my head. The shadow. We ate. We ate the shot. We ate it up. You love to see it. Dynamax time. Quaken. Run it. Shadow sneak. Run it. Do I proc policy? I don't think so. Actually, yeah, yeah. We proc policy. Do we proc policy? I don't know. Do we? Who could he go into? Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> we ate that. We Oh, yeah. We totally quaking here. 100%. 100% quaking proc policy. That is lovely. That is just gorgeous. No way we ate that. What happened? How did we eat that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry to our opponent. How did we eat that? How did we eat that? I probably should have shadow sneaked into him. I probably should have shadow sneaked into him. But I do like this weakness policy proc here. I think it is just a golden opportunity to do it. So we're going to do this. We are going to outspeed. We are going to get a special defense boost. And Astro Barrage is going to proc policy over Urban. So. Oh. Now, yeah, dude. That's that's rough for us. We shouldn't have proc our policy. He's going to proc it by himself. Dang, dude. I should have thought that one through. He's going for Astro Barrage. He's going to proc it himself. That stinks. That stinks. What's he going to do? Regilecki protects. Wow. We might still be able to take him out. Might still be able to take him out. Sneak's coming in through here. Might be able to take him out. Might be able to take him out still. That would be a gorgeous turn. But we're going to go before him. So Astro Barrage will do less damage because we get this lovely special defense boost. And then I can roll in with Sucker Punches on my uh, 
my boy. So we still poke out here, and oh my god, we almost take him out. We almost take him out. That could have been a big KO. Could have been a big time KO. Big, big time KO. So he's going for the Astro Brush. He sucked us up. Yeah, okay, so special defense boost definitely doing us good. Uh, but I go into Premier. I have to go into my uh. I have to go into my bird, right? I have to go into my bird. And I can just Fiery Wrath here and double down into uh, Calyrex, right? Yeah. 100% my play. I gotta see what other Pokemon he's rocking in the back end to decide what move I want to go into. Let's see. What other Pokemon are you rocking in the back end? So he has a Kyogre. He has Calyrex. I think Max Quake is definitely in play, right? Max Quake's gotta be in play. Or, or I can uh, set a Terrain. With a terrain homie, he has no like first turn priority move, so terrain wouldn't really benefit me. I'm leaning more towards the quake. Let's boost his special defense. We're gonna go here and we're just gonna drop a big old fire. 100 percent reply. No need to go and sucker punch. We have trick room, we have speed right now. I'm digging it. What's he gonna do here? He's gonna protect Calyrex. That's cool. That's cool. Cool with that. I am cool with that. Quake's gonna fly through here. We're getting that special defense boost. We're gonna be able to drop Reg Lucky. And then we have uh one or maybe two more turns left in Dino Egg or, or Trick Room. But he's wasting this out really, really well. Really, really well. Really, really well. Special Defense is boosted. Fire Rats going to get blocked on the Calyrex slot. And we're just going to roll off from there. I'm not worried about the Calyrex here. I really am not. We'll be taking him out. And now Calyrex, if he was Sash, which I had to guess he was Sash, it's off. The Focus Sash is off. So who's he going to go into from here? He still does have Dynax, which he might go into from here. I'm kind of hoping he goes into Kyogre. Kind of hoping the ogre comes out here, and it does. So Kyogre comes out here. If I had to guess Kyogre's protecting, but that's fine because you know we're just uh, going to fiery wrath and roll off from there. I think we have to quake again, right? We have to quake again. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna quake and we're just gonna fiery wrath. Well, I could snarl, but no, I have to guarantee us KO in this Calyrex. I have to guarantee it. I do think Kyogre's either gonna Dynamax or just protect. Or we might just Dynamax and protect Max Guard. <laughs> but we'll see. He's gonna, just gonna okay withdraw the Calyrex. That's cool. Alex gets to withdraw, and who's he gonna go into? He's gonna go into Wimscott. I'll cool with that. And Dynamax comes out from Kyogre. And we'll see how this one plays. Could start Tailwinding. I should have checked my Trick Room turns. I should have checked my Trick Room turns. Trick Room. And I want the Snarl. I was going to Snarl. That could have been a big play for us. Okay, so we're sitting here. I kinda wanna swap my uh, Fiery Wrath guy. My, my bird. Does, oh no, he might take out my bird. We'll see. She bird's kind of boosted, dude. The bird's boosted. Wow, was that a crit? That's some monstrous damage. That is some monstrous damage right there. Critical hit right there. Beautiful. Fiery Wrath might be able to do him dirty here. Yo, that crit was huge. And plus, we're weak this policy. Always got to remember that. Fiery Wrath comes out here. We do not take out, but still, we get some nice chip damage. And this thing must have a jack button. Okay, so we bring our boy right back out. We bring Calyrex right back out here. He's got to swap again, or he has to go for the ice move, right? How many turns is left in Trick Room? That's the real question. How many turns is left in Trick Room here? I'm hoping we get one more. If we get one more, we could be thriving here. He's probably going for the Hailstorm. Then he goes for a Laning, which we're going to be able to soak up all day. Easy soaks. Loving it. Loving it. Big old soaks with that Assault Best and that Special Defense Boost. We love it. And he changes his terrain to Electric, which is cool. Doesn't really affect me too much. Okay. So that's over with. I think we have one more turn left in Trick Room. And if we do, we're sitting in a gorgeous spot. If we have one more turn. Oh, we do. We do, don't we? That's beautiful. Yo, look at my stats, dude. Look at my stats. How about you? Special defense is up. Okay, so since we have one more turn left in Trick Room, it's just, that's just gorgeous for us. Because I can go into a free EQ. EQ should be able to take out uh, him no problem. And then we can just drop a Fiery Wrath, right? Yeah. The GG's. I think, I think that puts a wrap on the battle. Unless he double protects. He withdraws Kyogre. I'm cool with that. Probably protecting Calyrex, right? Then I can just sucker punch into him. He goes into Women's Scott. I'm, I'm cool with that. Protects Calyrex. That, that, that's fine. That's fine because, again, I can just start sucker punching in that slot. I can just start sucker punching now. I can just start sucker punching. How much damage are we really going to do with EQ? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad damage. Could have been worse. Could've been worse. Fire Rask gonna poke here. Not gonna be able to take out the Wind's Cop, but still chip up some more damage on him. Uh, right, send it this way. And there we go. Okay, so this thing's down to the wire. What can Wimscott do here? 
What can Wimscott do? Can't really do much. I think we're going to double down into Catherx regardless. We're going to double down into Catherx regardless. Just in case, you know, he does something to kind of finesse my Moltres. But yeah, he's going to help me hand. That's GG's, right? Sucker Punch flying through here. Sucker Punch, baby. Yay! Get him out of here. Get him out of here. And Jeans is rolling strong. That's GG's. That is GG's. We just beat a ranked 160 player. I wonder what my rank's going to go up to. I wonder what it's going to go up to. Like I said, we're at 1568. And we're going to go up. We're going to go up, dude. My highest is top 500. I was in like four... High 400s. High 400s I was around. And yeah. We should go up to close to 1,000. Gorgeous. That is amazing, dude. Played so well, but gotta be honest, MVP of this game was that Mimikyu surviving that shot. Getting that tripping. Definitely won us the game. Won us the game completely. The guy made a great call by uh, reading maybe a Protect or something out from my Solgaleo. And I honestly got lucky. My boy ate up the shot, no problem. It was just GG's from there. We're gonna go into the Sucker Punch again, and he's probably just gonna cancel battle, right? Cancel battle comes out. Yep, battle was canceled. Perfect record with this amazing Glary Moltres team. We're updating our rank right now. Let's see what we are in the master tier. Hopefully, we have our fingers crossed for top 1,000. I would love it. I would love it. Oh, my God. So close. 1,117. God dang. We are so close. Hopefully, we can get that top 1,000 in the next uh, video for Sword and Shield. But there it is, guys. Amazing set of battles for today. 3-0. Grab yourselves a perfect record. I'm glad I actually got to showcase my rank. I know a lot of you guys literally go, Jeans, why don't you showcase your rank? Why don't you, like, show you yourself loading into the screen? I just think that takes up too much time. I just think cutting in into battles is a lot better for you guys. We get more action, more gameplay that way. So that is why I do it. But here's the team. Once again, phenomenal. Glaring Moltres showed up in all three battles and was totally dominant. I do not know why uh, Moltres doesn't see the light that much anymore. But I still, still think it is a very strong Pokemon. and does work on the rank ladder. You also have that Solgale. The Kyogre combo, both of them were absolute beasts. They were absolute beasts. So, Galio is great in Dynamax, very, very bulky. Let's get that policy proc. It rolls out from there. And Kyogre, he's just Kyogre. You guys already know the power of that Pokemon. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.